Good morning. Thank you for joining us today for another Gentle Live Yoga session um, from Barefoot Beach and Inner Light Yoga. Today we'll need a block or a box and a strap. You can also use a belt or a dish towel or hand towel um, just to help with some of the other modifications that you may need. We'll get started in about one minute. They'll give you a few minutes to get your things and get back to your mat. For now, if you want to just start in an easy seated position this morning, bring your palms to your knees, or if you want to face them up, maybe come to a mudra, whatever you feel for your practice this morning. And again, thank you for joining us. Any kind of strap will work too. Like I said, you can use a belt. You can also use a hand towel. Kind of gives you the extra reach that you might need on some of the different poses. Let's go ahead and get started today. Like I said, if you're not there yet, easy seated position, palms facing up or down on your knees. Nice tall spine here, relaxed shoulders, relaxed neck. And just focus on breathing at first. Breathe in and out through your nose. Come to center, maybe set an intention for your practice this morning. Maybe even an I am affirmation. I am strong, I'm smart, I'm happy. Deep breaths in and out through your nose. Go ahead and close your eyes here if you choose. We'll come to a relaxed state. breaths and then I'll ask you to open your eyes if they're closed. And one more deep inhale. Feel your ribs lift and exhale. All right, let's roll our shoulders, bring them back. Inhale as you come up, and then exhale as you take them down your spine. Inhale up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as you exhale. Inhale up, and exhale back. Let's reverse it, taking it forward. Inhale. Breathe out. Breathe in. And out. Two more. movement in your shoulders. Let's work on our neck. Drop your ear to your shoulder. And then come back to center. Drop it to the other side. Come back to center. And just shift back and forth. Whatever feels comfortable to you. Maybe rolling your head forward. Back around to the other side. Maybe even tracing your collarbone with your chin. Just a couple 
different ways you can take it. And then meeting back at center, we'll raise our arms, inhale, interlace your fingers, and we're going to take them back behind our head. Take your head down, chin to chest. And then inhale, raise up, gaze up. Chin to chest, exhale. And then inhale, bring it up, gaze up. Come back to center, drop your hands. And then inhale, raise them all the way up again. Open your mouth as your hands come together. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Open your mouth. Exhale. And last time. Deep breath. Gather all that positive energy. And exhale. Inhale, bring your hands up. And exhale, we're going to twist. Take your left hand to your right knee. Your spine is straight. Gaze goes over your right shoulder. Inhale, bring your hands back to center. And then exhale to the other side. Right hand, left knee. Straight spine, gaze over your left shoulder.
We're gonna take our knees out wide and come to child's pose. Your hips shift back into your heels and then you extend your arms along, bringing your forehead to the mat. Inhale as you lift up slightly and walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. Exhale, release back down. Inhale back to center and as you exhale, walk your hands over to the left side this time. Release down. Stretching through your side body, through your ribs, even feel it in your shoulders. Inhale, let's come back to center and release back down for just a moment. Come back up, walk your hands back. Bring your knees in, then curl your toes under. We'll come to our first downward facing dog today. Keep a bend in your knees. I want your ribs touching your knees. So if that means that you cannot straighten out, that's fine. We want to flat back here. Your gaze goes towards your, your shins. And begin walking your ankles down, your heels down, closer to the floor. Walk them out. Come to a stillness and then begin to walk your hands all the way back towards your feet. Forward fold, release everything down to the mat. Let your head fall, let your spine elongate. And if you need to have that bend into your knees, go ahead and keep it. Maybe even take your arms, wrap them on the outside to the back side of your thighs. Grabbing opposite elbows. And don't forget to let your head fall. Maybe even shake it side to side. Releasing your hands down to the mat. Walk back out to a downward facing dog. And then raise your right foot. Three leg dog, but step it forward in between our hands. Turn out your left ankle to a 45 degree and inhale, raise up. Warrior one. Open up, warrior two. Making sure you have that 45 degree bend into your knee. Your knee's stacked over your ankle. Make sure you're not moving it in and out. Nice and stacked. All joints are stacked here. And then take it down, side angle. Drop your right hand. You can either drop it to your elbow or your elbow to your knee or take it all the way down for an extended version. Whichever feels best for you this morning. Try to keep your shoulder back, your gaze goes up. Rise back up, warrior two. Coming to five pointed star, we'll straighten our legs here. Bring your arms up. Toes are pointed to the corners of your mat. And then we'll come down, goddess pose. Inhale up. And then exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Two more times. Inhale up. And exhale, come down. Inhale up. Exhale, come down. This time we'll come up and switch sides. Warrior two on this side. Again, stack your knee over your ankle. And then come down. Side angle either to your left elbow or extend all the way down. 
opening up. You can also use a block here. If you're not quite down to the floor yet, but you want to extend further than your knee. And inhale, push back up. Two more breaths. Wind your right arm around, warrior one. Opposite side. Again, your body's square. Hips towards the front, shoulders towards the front, or as close to as you can. And then exhale, plant your hands, step your foot back to a three-leg dog. And then exhale, drop it down to meet your other one. Knees come down to the mat, hips shift back, child's pose. And then back up. Curl your toes under, back to your downward facing dog, and we will take our gaze forward and walk our hands all the way up to the front of our mat. Forward fold. Slowly roll yourself up, one vertebra at a time. Let your head be the last thing to raise. Shoulders come up, neck comes up, chin, inhale, upward salute. Arms up. Take a slight back bend here. Gaze goes up. And inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna hinge at our hips, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, bringing your hands to your shins. Your gaze is forward and your back is flat. Core is engaged. And then fold again. Drop your hands to the mat this time and step back to a high plank. From here, we'll lower all the way down to the mat. Hands into your sides. And inhale, raise up. Your knees are flat on the mat and palms are pressed into the mat. Make sure you're not dipping into your shoulders. Nice long spine, shoulders are down. And exhale. Bring your hands to the outsides of your mat, coming up onto your fingertips. You have a bend into your elbows. And inhale, push through, raise up. We'll do a little twist here. Take your gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale to center. Gaze over left shoulder. Back to center. And exhale. Back down to the mat. Bringing your hands back into the sides. One more inhale. Raise up. Maybe you're a little bit taller this time. Exhale, release. Curl your toes under. Bend into your knees. Downward facing dog. Step your right foot up. Three leg dog. Take a bend into your knee and make some circles here. Circles the other way. And then releasing your foot back down to the mat, we'll raise our left foot. Three leg dog, opposite side. Take a bend into your knee, foot is flat. And begin your circles. Two circles to the left. Two circles to the right. Lowering your foot back down. Gaze forward and step, hop, or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. And we'll do that one more time. Exhale. Sun salutation A. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back. 
You can float through a vinyasa or go all the way to downward facing dog. Lower halfway. Inhale up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe two full breaths. Gaze forward, bend at your knees. Step, hop, or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands through heart center. Tadasana. Two breaths. Next breath, inhale, raise your right hand. Left hand is going to stay down at your side and just take it over. Reaching your left hand towards your knee. Inhale, back up. And we'll switch sides, exhale. Left hand comes up, inhale. Right hand's down at your leg, exhale, over. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, release. Arms come up this time. Inhale, we're going to bend into our knees. Exhale, swing your arms down. And raise back up. Chair pose. Utkatasana. Shift your weight back into your hips. Maybe even raise your toes off of your mat. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. We're going to do a twist here. So inhale, roll your shoulders back. And as you exhale, hook your left elbow to your right knee. Once you have a good hook there, you can really twist, bringing your elbow up towards the sky. Gaze goes up. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, other side. Right elbow, left knee. swan dive and exhale hands to heart center we're going to come to tree today for our balancing pose planting your left foot firmly into the mat begin to raise your right knee up to your hip we'll take it out to the side find your focal point that's going to help you keep your balance and then you can place your foot at your ankle your calf or move it up to your thigh. Wherever you're at today, bring your hands back to heart center. Nice and tall, course engaged. Maybe bring your tree up. Bring it out. It's okay if you fall out of your balancing pose. Just start back over and get right back into it. Exhale, let's bring our hands back to center. We'll drop our foot to the side. Bring it forward. And let's go back into warrior three. So we're not even going to drop our foot to the mat. We're just going to bring it straight back. Toes pointing down. See if I can turn sideways so you can see. And exhale, let's bring it back up. Inhale. And exhale, drop it down. Walk it out. The other leg might be burning a little bit. You can feel it for sure. Arms come up. Inhale. And let's go ahead and fold just to reset. Exhale. Hinge at your hips, fold. From here, walk your hands over to your right foot, bend into your left knee. Inhale to center, straightening your left knee, bend into your right knee and walk your hands to the left side.
back to center, fold. Reverse swan dive, bring it all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. We'll ground through our right side this time. Once you have your toes, all four corners of your feet firmly planted into your mat. Core is engaged, take your gaze forward and then raise your left knee. Take it out to the side as we did on the other side and drop it to either your ankle, your calf or your inner thigh. Avoiding your knee to prevent knee injuries. Sometimes one side's better than the other, that's okay. Arms come up. Open up. Bringing your hands back to heart center. Remember, we're going to release. Take it out to the side. Inhale forward and exhale. Take it back. Warrior three. apart and exhale pigeon your hips forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale plant your hands step back downward dog right leg comes up step it forward in between your hands we're going to come to a high lunge arms come up now your toes are pointed forward your back heel is raised. Let's bring your body forward. Keep your core in tight. Inhale, bring it back up. And twist. Right arm goes back. Gaze goes back. Keep that heel raised. Wind your arm back around. And then step your foot up, maybe two or three steps. We're going to lock out our legs, coming into pyramid. Toes are pointed forward. You can bring your arms to your hips. Maybe take your hands into an Anjali Mudra in the back. Pull your core in tight. Toes are forward. Lead with your heart. Keep your legs as straight as you can. If you need to use a block here, you can drop your hands and use a block for balance. Removing your block, take a bend into your front leg. Inhale, raise back up. Arms come up. Step your foot back. High lunge. Exhale, plant your hands and step back into a downward facing dog. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Left leg goes up, step it through in between your hands, high lunge. Root to rise, nice and tall. Exhale, bring your head forward, core's engaged, arms are forward. Inhale, raise it up, and we're going to twist to the other side this time. So your left arm's going to go back, right arm comes forward, and your gaze goes back over your left shoulder. Rotating it back around to center, and then stepping that right foot in, keeping your toes 
pointed, legs are straight. Again, bring your hands to your sides. Or you can have them behind your back. Take a deep inhale, pour your core in tight, and lead with your heart as you exhale. You can even drop your hands here. Pulling back up with your core, nice and tall. Arms come up. Go ahead and step back to that lunge. And exhale. Plant your hands. Step your foot back. Downward facing dog. I'm going to go into pigeon today. So if you'll raise your right leg up. Step it forward in between your hands. Your right knee comes to your right wrist. And then let your right foot trail behind. Or if you can bring it all the way up, have your feet flat, whatever feels best to you today. Again, use a block or a box to keep your hips square. Shoulders are high. Maybe even bring your arms up. Find a balance here. And exhale, release down to the mat. Make sure that your straight leg, your knee is on the mat and not turned out. Inhale, let's walk it up. We're going to plant our right hand into the mat. Reach your left arm back. Take a bend into your knee and reach back for your foot. If you can reach your foot, take your gaze over your shoulder. Releasing your foot back down towards the mat. Square off your hands, curl your left toes under, keep that leg back up, three leg dog. And then exhale, release down to the mat. We'll do the other side, left leg goes up. And then step it forward, bring your knee to your left wrist. Let your foot trail behind, or as close to the right wrist as you can. Again, using a block. Find your balance. Sending your arms all the way out or just to your elbows. Remember, this is your practice. Make it your own. Honor your body and do what feels good to you.
inhale, come back to center. And then drop your head to the mat. Your chin goes down to the mat. Your hips are level with your, parallel with your knees, coming into puppy pose. Walk it up. Back to hero's pose. Bring your arms up. Inhale. And exhale. You can again take it to your lower back. Or if you want to reach back for your heels, you can reach your heels. And another option is reaching back towards blocks if you have them. So inhale up. Exhale back. Reach for your blocks. And then push forward. Letting your head fall. And then inhale, raise back up. Back to the puppy pose. Reversing that bend. And then walking your hands back, coming to your tabletop. Now let's cross our ankles over, come to a seated position. We'll find our butterfly pose, Baddha Konasana. If you want the support, bringing the blocks to the outsides of your knees helps. Take your hands to the insides of your feet, nice and tall spine here. Two full breaths in and out through your nose. And then on your next exhale, we're going to bend into our elbows. Press them to the outsides of your knees or your thighs. Bring your body forward. Nice, tall, straight spine. Maybe you're here and that's okay. Maybe you want to drop a little bit lower. Bringing your head closer to your feet. Inhale as you walk back up. And then we'll take our peace fingers to our right foot and extend your right leg out. Bring your left foot in a little bit closer to your thigh. Inhale. And exhale, drop your hand or your elbow to the inside of your knee, and then raise your left arm over. Inhale, come back to center, and exhale, release. We're going to switch sides. Right foot comes in, left foot extends. We'll drop our elbow into the inner part of our leg. Reach your right arm up. Gaze goes up and over. Exhale. Inhale, bring it back up. And exhale. We're going to pull both legs in this time. Coming to staff pose. So, Your legs are extended long, your back is flat, arms come up, and exhale, release. This is where your towel or your strap will come in. Wrap it, nice tall back. Try not to round your back, you want a nice flat back here, and then pull down. Inhale, lift slightly, and then as you exhale, lower down a little bit deeper. Walking back up. Drop your hands behind you. Plant your feet into the mat. And inhale, raise up, reverse bridge. Exhale, hips to the mat. Let's go ahead and come down to our elbows here. 
drop your head back. Maybe you can even reach the mat coming into fish pose. Sometimes you gotta kind of shift into it. But your forearms are on the mat. You have a nice round arch in your back. Maybe your knees are bent or if you can extend them. Inhale, lift up, roll up, bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug, take your forehead to your knees. And then exhale, drop your feet to the mat, your arms down to your sides, hands planted into the mat, pressing through the bottoms of your feet into the mat, inhale, raise up, hips come up, bridge pose and hold. Using a block. If you wish. Exhale. Remove your block. Take your hips down. Grab yourself up. Give, your, give yourself a hug. Maybe even roll side to side, give yourself a little massage. Let's drop our left leg, interlace your fingers and pull your knee closer into your chest or deeper into your side body. Point your toes, flex them. Maybe rotate your ankle one way, rotate it the other way. And then bring your left knee up into your chest. Release your right leg down. Same thing. Pull it into your side body or into your chest, whichever feels good. Toes pointed up and flexed. Up. Flex. One more time. And then rotating it to the right. Rotating to the left. Pull your right knee back up. And then drop both of your feet next to your thighs onto the mat, hip width apart. Toes pointed forward, arms come down, and another bridge. Push through your feet, hips are high. One option, interlace your fingers, roll onto your shoulders for a deeper bridge. If that's too much and you'd like to support your bridge, with a block, you can do that as well. One more full breath. And inhale, raise up. Exhale, move your block. Bring your hips down. Knees in the chest. Give yourself a hug. From here, we're going to roll up. So you can roll forward all the way up to a seated position. Bring your knees up. Arms extend. We're going to do a little bit of core work here. So go ahead and raise your feet off of the mat. Arms are going to come up. Exhale, drop them to the right. Inhale up. And then exhale, drop them to the left. Let's do this ten times. Two. Three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and last one. We should be shaking a little bit. Not too much, this is gentle. And exhale, release down. Oh. Take a breath. Knees are back next to your thighs. We're gonna turn our feet in. Supta Baddha Konasana. Butterfly pose. In a supine position. Go ahead and let your palms face the ceiling or the sky. 
take three deep breaths in. Open your mouth, let it out. Two more, breathe in. And open your mouth, exhale, release. Last time, inhale. Open your mouth, breathe out. Beautiful. Bring your legs together, knees together. Raise them up off of the mat. We're gonna just cross our legs right here. So if you get them crossed, bring your arms out to the side. And we're just gonna drop them over to the left side. Take your gaze over your right shoulder. So they're just in a cross position. This feels so good on your lower back. Inhale, let's come back to center. We'll switch sides, cross your left leg over your right, and then drop it to the right side. This time your gaze will go over your left shoulder. Come back to center. And then release, drop your feet down. If you have a strap or a towel, go ahead and grab it now. Wipe off your face, grab some water. We'll come back to our backs. Planting your left foot into the mat. Wrap your right foot and extend it towards the ceiling. Then go ahead and drop your left foot down to the mat. So you're nice and tall here, half waterfall. Both of your hands are holding your strap and you can, you're gonna pull back. Keep your legs straight though, so if this is where you're at, that's perfectly fine. If you're here, that's fine too. But keep your legs straight. We're gonna bring our head up close to our knee. Use your core to pull your shoulders up off of your mat. And exhale, release. Keeping the strap in your right hand, drop your left hand out to a T. And then we'll drop our right foot and our right arm over to the right side. Use your left hand to keep your hip down. So if your hip wants to raise up, just slowly kind of ease it back down into place. Inhale, let's come back to center. We'll switch sides. Left hand comes to the strap, right hand comes out and cross over. Gaze goes over your right shoulder once again. And then inhale, let's bring it back to center. We'll switch sides here. So grab the strap with both hands. Bring your left leg up to meet your right. Drop your right foot down. Grab the strap with both hands and begin to pull forward. Again, remember to have a straight leg here. Nice straight. No bends in your knees. And then bring your nose closer towards your knee. Use your core. Pull up. Shoulders are up off of the mat. If you're not holding with your strap, you're using your core here. And exhale, release. Drop your right hand, left hand stays on the strap and drop it down, exhale. Keeping your legs straight, checking your hip, making sure it hasn't raised up. Inhale, come back to center. We'll switch hands in the strap. Drop your left hand down and cross your right hand, left leg over to the right side. Gaze goes over your left shoulder. And come back to center. Go ahead and release your strap, drop your feet to the mat. 
and then pull your knees back into your chest. We're gonna grab the outsides of our feet, going into happy baby. Maybe rotate side to side. Another good stretch here is to extend one leg. Bring it back in and then extend the other leg. Drop it back in, happy baby. Roll it out. And then coming into our final resting pose, we'll drop our feet back down to the mat. Arms extend long. Take in one deep breath, fill your lungs, lift your ribs, everything in your chest. Hold it. Hold it. Two more seconds. Open your mouth and exhale. Release everything down. Relaxing your body, coming back to your normal breathing pattern, letting your eyelids fall, relaxing from head to toe, from your crown chakra to your third eye, down to your throat, relaxing your jaw and clenching your teeth down through your shoulders to your heart chakra. Past your heart to your solar plexus. Your sacral area, down to your root, your hips. Your legs relax, down to your knees. Letting your ankles and your feet fall out to the sides. Coming back to your intention, if you set one at the beginning of the class, maybe your I am affirmation, I am strong, I am worthy, I am thankful. Spend five to ten minutes here in final resting pose, Vasana. showing up to your mat. I'd also like you to thank yourself for showing up. From Barefoot Beach Cafe and Inner Light Yoga Hawaii. Bring your arms up. One final breath for me as you guys are in Shavasana. Exhale. The light in me honors the light in each of you today. Namaste.